All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And uh, before we get started, we, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstones and salutations to all the elect that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. That's right, man. Like, like the brother said, every week, man, we're going to come out here and prophesy the downfall. And, hey, it's not for the average pee on the seat, but we see it. Somebody give me that habit. Uh, it's just speaking, not lie. We see it, man. But we're the watchmen, you know, set up through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. And that's our duty is to come out here and, you know, during the week we watch and we see the prophecies. And like the brother was saying, one of the biggest prophecies we see unfolding is that is that microchip, man. That's right. You every, you see that shit on on, on, on basic uh, 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 news, man. CNN, CS, uh, CNNBC, you know. But we we see it, and, and our job is to come out here and, and, and the things that we see is to push it through the unicorn, so other brothers that's a part of the fold can see it and wake up, man. The rest of you people not gonna get it. That, that, that's not our that's not our problem, man. That's that, that, that's that's you having a problem with the most high. Our job is to come out here and warn the people, you know, and hopefully to seal up the elect and also to condemn the rest of you people, man. That's right. Why? Because our Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God and His Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is coming back to destroy this place, man. That's right. 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 So what we doing out of labor of love is trying to wake up our fellow brethren so we can get up out of here, Lord willing, man. Go ahead up. God, this is talking about uh, the mark, the mark of the beast. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Right, so that, that, that eliminates that rapture bullshit. It says it's going to cause all. The so-called white man gonna force that microchip on every last one of you people, man. That's right. Even us standing up here, all every last one, every all flesh gonna be tempted with with, with getting that mark in their in their right hand or in their forehead, man. Nobody's gonna be exempt. But on hey, what the scripture say? Uh, somebody give me that. Um, uh, Revelation. Revelation three. Yeah, Revelation three. Keep going up. You got it. Okay, you got it. You got it. That's God. The book of Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. And like Elder Pastor Tahar been saying, man, tens of millions of you niggas, you Israelites are going to die. And the main reason is because you're going to get that microchip. Right? And the reason being is you can't resist that microchip unless, read that up. This is Revelations chapter 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right, so the key word is the most high will keep you. But you're not keeping the, uh, 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 the, the law, statutes, and commandments. And you're not doing the, the, the will and the bidding of the Heavenly Father. So if you're not doing that, he's not going to keep you from the hour and temptation. Right. So you can't even, de you can't even uh, verbally deny the chip, man. Why? Because you had to have a spirit uh, of Yahweh, Yahweh shine on you, man. That's how deep it is, man. Because, hey, people haven't been tempted uh, uh, to where you can't get nothing to eat. Ask the motherfuckers in Venezuela, man. They'll do whatever. They'll, they'll take whatever to get something to eat, man. Yeah, they already doing that shit, man. Eating dogs, eating pigeons, <laughs> okay, cats. Cats, right. And that's rightfully so, because a lot of these, uh, you, you, you fucking uh, light-skinned niggas, you, you Northern tribe, you, you Latinos, y'all don't take heed to shit, man. All y'all want to do is party and drink Coronas and Modelos and shit, man. Right. That's, that's why the Most High starting that shit off over there in South America. That's right. Because y'all ain't taking heed in these videos on the, on the unicorn. For, for Latinos, you got brothers in, in multiple camps bringing out uh, videos in Spanish, man. If I could say something, that's why it's, it's going to be worse in America because the people here in America are the most immoral, unethical people on the planet. That's right. right. That's they right. have no morals. They have no respect, no integrity here in America at all. That's right. right. 
So the, as bad as it's going down there in Venezuela and in Syria and other places in the world to all nations, even the nation of Israel down there in Venezuela, it's going to be worse here in America because this is, the mo this is Sodom and Gomorrah, man. That's right. right. Yeah, it's worse here than it is in, in Venezuela, man. It's right. just that the Most High hasn't manifested that, you know, that famine here. But he's saving this place for last, man. Why? Because this... These are the most docile people on the universe, in the universe, man. Come. Here in America, on this soil, man. You got young men coming out here every weekend, not just here, around the planet, man, bringing out this truth, and nobody taking heed, man. So the Most High gonna be justified when he putting bi millions of people to death. That's right. That's right. Verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. Right, and that, hey, the other kingdom, they love, they, hey, they grind, they bought they, 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 you know what I'm saying, they bought that dollar bill. That's right. But soon, the, ec the economy is gonna crash. The dollar bill is gonna fold. And, this, and the, that so-called, the white man, who are the Edomites in the Bible, they're gonna force you to get a microchip, man. That's right. By, by design, not, not just by a call, a uh, uh, chance. They've been uh, propagating this for years, man. Hey, and the scriptures tell you, if you get that microchip, you're going to die the worst death possible, man. That's right. That's right. But you, you, these, these niggas don't want to take heed, man. And hey, like I say, it's vexation having to deal with breathing the same air as y'all people, man, because y'all don't have no wherewithal at all to understand what's going on in the world, man. The fucking, hey, the fucking economy is, is this close to folding, man. And people walking around with their heads stuck up in the air, man. That's right. Not even trying to acknowledge their history or seeing what, okay, let, let me look at history before the conquistadors came here. Let me find out the history before the transatlantic slave trade, man. But like, like the ox said, man, this, this is the most wickedest place in history, man. That's why the Most High got to eradicate this place, man. That's right. Why? Because there's no wisdom here, no understanding of nothing here, man. He that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six. Hundred three score and six. Right, and that's in a nutshell. That's a so-called white man. He gonna force you to get his mark. He gonna force you to get that number. And if you don't have, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell. So all you people saying you got faith in the Lord and, and faith in God and His who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, you are gonna be tested then. Cause, Cause these scriptures tell you if you get that chip, somebody give me that real quick just to edify that point. The scriptures tell you in Revelation 14, you get that chip, you gonna die, man. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of God. That's right. That's right. Put the camera on them niggas, huh? Them niggas right there gonna get the chip, man. That's right. Them niggas gonna get that chip, man. And you see, you see how a nigga, how a nigga is. You see how our people is. We got the juice. We trying to tell them. We trying to teach them. And they mocking and scoffing. But they gonna be the, the main ones in line fighting for that chip like it's a pair of joys. Not only is this gonna be a time of death that's coming upon this place. It's gonna be a time of horrible deaths. That's right. You people gonna die horrible deaths. Either by the famine, by the sword, which is the nukes, or by them troops, the um UN troops. Oh, however, you people gonna die horrible deaths, man, by the pestilence. So you scoffing at the wrong thing, man. Cause you ain't scoffing at us. You are scoffing at the true power of the whole universe, right. of every existence. That's right. But we ain't shit, man. We're, we're nothing, man. We just messengers. Like we, we say it every week, man. We don't even know if we gonna make it, man. But we got a job to do. Who else gonna do it? Who else gonna come out and proclaim the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son? Joe Austin ain't gonna do it. T.D. Jakes ain't gonna do it. But hey, like I say, our everyday walk and seeing these niggas and living around these wicked ass niggas 
it validates that we are the truth in life. It validates that our people are wicked, uh, 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 extremely sadish. We see that shit every day, man. Not just when we come out here to camp. Every day we see that you niggas are the, are the Israelites of that Bible, man, that's, that, that's fitted for destruction. Two-thirds of you, whether you be Negro, Latino, or Native American, man. The proof is in the pudding, man. Go ahead up. This is Jeremiah 30 and 5. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Right, not of peace. We ain't coming out here to prophesy no goddamn peace, man. We not in the time of peace. Ain't no peace going on right now. It's, if it ain't racial wars or ethnic wars, you got a uh, 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 proxy wars, uh, 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 psychological wars, economic wars, race war, hey, hey, all that shit being propagated throughout the four corners of the earth. What the fuck are you talking about peace, man? You better get the fuck from under that rock, man, and see what's going on. That's right. Go ahead. Ask you now and say, and see, whether a man do travail with child. Right, and that's rhetorical, man. Because what's, what's coming is uh, grown ass men gonna be walking up and down the street crying like bitches, man. That's right. That's right. Why? Because they, they don't have an understanding of these scriptures. Now, you got a lot of men that's gonna turn, you know, back to that, that natural state. They're gonna realize, oh, this shit is it, barbaric season. It's, it's, it's kill or be killed. But the majority, especially here in America, the majority of you men are going to be crying like bitches, man. That's right. That's a guarantee. Why? Because you're feminized, man. A lot of you niggas dress like faggots and not really faggots, man. That just show you your mentality. You're not even a faggot, but you dress like one, man. Hey, you are, yeah. Like I said, you're a faggot, man. <laughs> right, you should know a man by his yeah, countenance. Yeah, man. You are what you what you look like, you know. <laughs> Go ahead. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Right, holding your your gut, man. Like, hold, like oh shit. Go ahead. As a woman in travail. Right, a man gonna be holding his shit like a woman that's in, in, uh, uh, nine months pregnant, going through pregnancy, pregnancy, man. All these niggas walking around like they tough and shit. You gonna be walking around like a bitch, man, crying, hey, man. Hey, right. hey, what we always say, I'm crying blood. Crying blood. Go ahead. And all faces are turning to paleness. Right, all faces turn into paleness, man. Why? Because you're gonna see mass death, man. Dead bodies littered everywhere you go, man. FEMA camps. Hey, ask some people uh, uh, that went to, uh, that was in New Orleans, man, who went, to, it was in the Superdome. Ask them about that shit. Like, like we, like we making shit up. You can go and ask these people how that shit was in the in the Superdome, man. And guess what? That was just a test run, man. Cause it's gonna be like that in every state. And guess what? All the all all the, uh, the major NFL arenas and uh, 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 the, uh, basketball stadium, basketball arenas and shit. Where they at? Five minutes from the ghetto. Five minutes from the hood. And, and they putting the dome on, on pro player. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, and they, they put watch, you know, like watchtowers on them shits, man. Yeah. On, on the corners of them shits, look like watchtowers. Mm -hmm. And I ain't see no article that says that, right. but it look like watchtowers on them shits. Right. But we know through the spirit, that's what them shits for. Because football, hey, football season going to be over with. Baseball, all that shit going in the garbage can. Most high going to destroy that shit, man. That's right. That's right. So the so-called white man gonna use them venues to house all you niggas, man. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right, and that, like I said, that's what we're doing. We're trying to preach this word so those that are that that, that, that are part of the fold can wake up out of this wickedness, man. Right. Why? Cause. Like the brother just said, man, and hey, we were watching Roots, man. Jake caught hell on them ships, man. But the, the scripture he brought out, that shit ain't gonna compare. That's like going to Disney World compared to what's coming, man. Right, 70 AD. Right. What's, what's the coming gonna be nothing compared to 70 AD. Nothing compared to the mass uh, genocide that happened to the northern tribes, man. That's right. Nothing compared to that, man. 700 million. 
what's going to come is going to be worse. Like the apostles say, tens of millions of you Jays going to die here in America, man, on day one, man. Right. On day one, all right? Just, just multiply that by two every single day, man. That's how I see it. Because right. this scripture is fitting for what the brother brought out in Revelations and the chip, all right? Because cause that's what's going to happen to you niggas, man. That's going to be so, so, uh, that family going to hit y'all so damn hard where you ain't got shit to eat. They're going to be crying like little hoes. And the only place they're going to go is to them ration lines. And for you to get food from the ration lines, you're going to need that chip. And you're going to take it willfully, man. Mm -hmm. right. So death to you niggas, man. Right. Come on. Death to y'all. Go ahead, huh? This is back up we just said. It's Matthews. Matthews 24 21. For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. Said not since the beginning of the world. That was great tribulation when the flood came on the earth. Them niggas was bugging out when they saw raindrops. And Noah done built the ark on the ground. And they come knocking on the door. That was tribulation, man. They like, fuck. This man been telling us for over 100 years that it's going to rain, it's going to flood. That was great tribulation, meaning troubles, man. Go ahead. Um, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Nor shall ever shall be, man. So, hey, this is that, you know, that, the, the ending of that, of that great movie, man. Hey, and guess what it said? Jacob's trouble like never before. That's the ending of the movie. Because really, it ain't about these heathens. It ain't about them. The, the, the main two players are who? Jacob and Esau, man. Yes, it ain't really about these other heathens, man. It ain't really about the white man. He just got to pay for what he did. You know what I'm saying? He the main, he, the, he one of the main players. But really what it's about is you niggas playing the harlot to Yahweh while Yahweh shot, man. That's right. And being punished for that shit. That's what it boils down to. Fuck these heathens, these, these so-called white people. That's right. These Chinese, Japanese, fuck all them, man. It ain't about them, man. They coming back in the kingdom in their right state, which is to be servants unto us. That's right. but, but you niggas, you niggas gonna pay for old and new, like your mom used to tell you. You gonna pay for old and new, man. And guess what? The ass whooping you gonna get, you never gonna go off again. That's how much of an ass whooping you gonna get, man. That's and right, and rightfully so. Because we got the juice up here. We got the juice. We can, we, can, we can straighten you out, you know, through the spirit of power. We can tell you how you need to walk in this thing. And the proof of that is we up here. Because we heard all the brothers tell us, oh, this is how you got to walk. This is what you got to do. And guess what? We did it, and we see the results of it. We got the understanding of these scriptures. But a nigga don't want, even want to hear this, man. So rightfully so, you got to die to death, man. Let's sit on that. Uh, Go ahead. John, just uh, finishing up. Uh, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, Verse 10, the saved shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beasts and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Con. So, like the brother was just expounding on, all you fucking two thirds, that when y'all take that chip, man, when them nukes hit, you gonna baste in that in that fire, okay? Yeah. It's gonna marinate. Right. And nah, then, they marinate now. Yeah, yeah, they marinate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna cook, you know, with cook. the rotisserie. Cook. Slow, slow. They gonna see just slow cook. Yeah. That's fire, man. <laughs> the Lord's not gonna let your spirit just rise up. Nope. It's, it's, nope. into his hands. Yeah. He's gonna let you sit there. All right? Yeah. That's that's that torment. There you go. That's all right? Because niggas like to say we all gonna die. Cause they gonna take the chip. They don't give a fuck. And, and the scriptures will tell you that um, dying of famine is worse than dying from the sword. But in this case, dying from the, um, from the nukes is gonna be the worst judgment of all. Because like the brother was just saying, 
your spirit is going is going to sit in the noose. The Lord is, is about righteous judgment. And you thought that you was getting away from dying of famine or dying from hunger because you went to go and took that um that chip. The Lord's gonna make you pay for that times ten after you take that chip. That's and he's gonna make you bask in that fire. That's right. That's the judgment. That's that's the second death. That's the big finale. The Lord ain't finna let you get away from the big finale easily. Oh boom, the fire hit you and you gone. Hell no, nah, you're gonna be in that fire. That's right. You're gonna be tormented day and night. That ain't judgment, because that hey, that'd be swooping than getting hit with the guillotine. Yeah. You know that nuclear blast, like boom, phew, phew, your flesh gone through. Yeah. Nah, ain't going like down that. like that, baby. That ain't how our father work. Somebody got hey, that? Cause uh, what that? He got, got a precept. Yeah, come on, got a precept. But yeah, the most high ain't rocking like that, man, cause that'd be a mercy kill. Cause nuke, hey, that nuclear blast ain't that ain't gonna play with you. You ain't gonna feel nothing really. But like the brother said, he gonna keep his spirit in there, baby. That's the reason they gonna come back in the kingdom uh, shame face. Cause they gonna remember all that shit, man. God damn, boy. Fervent heat, man. That's that hell that these Christians be talking about. That's that hell. That's that hell. Tormented day and night. Most high keeping your spirit in your body to feel that burn, baby. Word. And we ain't talking about no Richard Simmons, baby. We talking about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, baby.